What's up, Internet? We are here with the majesty that is my PS3. And that's a big deal for me because I actually have not been able to play or indeed record anything on this for about three years. See, the PS3 and also PSTV and actually the PS4, but it was disabled digitally, have this fantastic thing called HDCP, High Definition Copy Protection. It is a fantastic thing on paper. It's a thing that's supposed to prevent you from recording things via HDMI to spread illicitly, you know? It's it's a great idea. I, I'm all for that. Unfortunately, while it exists basically to stop people from pirating movies, all it really does is mess my life up horribly. See, if you try and record anything through HDMI, all you do get is a black screen, which kind of makes recording a little bit tricky. And that's a problem for me because, you know, prior to me getting this new TV, which only has HDMI input, I was using Component, which would have been fine, except I can't do that now. So the alternative was to use SD cables, which is kind of an ass and it looks awful. Now I, I know there's about a billion people out there probably yelling at me right now, just get a switcher and you're right. What you need to do is get an HDMI switcher because some of them actually allow you to get past that, which is great. But not all of them do that, and in the past three years, I've bought no less than, like, 20 of them. And, uh, well, I finally found one that works, so we're gonna play Gundam Unicorn, an import I bought two years ago and still haven't played, based on what is probably my most unliked, dubiously canon part of the Gundam franchise, but, uh, here we go. I'm just excited to be back with my PS3. I've got so many PS3 games I want to play, and now that I can actually do that, that's huge for me. So I'm very, very, very extra excited to finally actually be able to play this. Uh, we might get a blank screen for a sec because recording is kind of an ass like that. But we should be good in about a sec. And there we go. Alright, everything seems to be working. Good, good, good. I don't like my stream thing being turned orange and red for my KBS, but what can you do? Anyway, we're here with our PS3, which is uh, something I haven't been able to say for three years. If you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you've noticed that even though I started with PS3 stuff, I haven't really done any PS3 stuff recently, which is a problem to say the least. But uh, here we are with Gundam Unicorn. I'm not sure how the audio is going to sound on this. It sounds like it's probably okay, but I'm going to turn it down just a scooch. This is something I probably can't actually put up on YouTube because Gundam Unicorn stuff gets flagged immediately and I think this game is probably covered by that, but still. I assume this is probably going to follow the plot of the game. Uh, I have heard that you can... I'm not sure if it's build a team of your favorite suits or you can just play as your favorite suits, but apparently you can play with more than just the Unicorn and Banshee, which is good because I find them to be the, the most awfully designed Gundams ever. They're so boring. Just let me play the Stark Jagan, please. I'll settle for the Kajatria if I have to, but just let me let me play as the Stark. The thing was such a badass. So the problem with watching long cutscenes like this is, if you don't know the story already or you can't translate it, it's kind of a waste of time. <laughs> I mean, I know what the plot of Unicorn is, but I just want to blow things up in mobile suits, because I've heard you can do that in this game, and it's a Gundam game, so it kind of goes without saying that's what's going to happen. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. Tremendous. I don't know why I didn't think to do that sooner. Okay, so we got normal mode and assist mode. I don't know what either of these are. I'm going to say yes. So L1 lets you break left and right, I guess. Okay, we're going to go easy because, again, I don't know what the controls are. We're going to figure this out as we go. New save data. Tremendous. Can I pick my little suit now? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I want a Jagan. A badass super Jagan, if I may. 
that would have absolutely creamed the Kajatria if it didn't have plot armor. I'm just going to say it. We're all thinking it. I'm just going to say it. I'm still bitter about that fight. <laughs> like, that's the thing about Unicorn. Unicorn's great, except for its main suits. They're so ugly. Okay. It looks like we're flying on a single plane. We don't have full three-dimensional movement, from what I can tell. Granted, we're in space. We don't exactly have a huge frame of reference. Shift mode, L. Walking gun. Okay. Beam rifle. Tremendous. Press all the buttons. Okay, so we got some unknown enemies. Ah, some Jiggins. I like these guys. They're like the ultimate version of the gym. That wasn't the Pale Rider. Which was, you know, equally like Gundam Unicorn, dubiously canon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're playing with gotcha force controls. I can work with that. What's O do? Does O... Oh, it's just swap locks. Okay. That's a little boring. I was hoping that was going to pull out a super move. Okay, we did that. Can I stop being this ugly piece of crap, please? I'm going to Vulcan you. Alright, let's shoot some jiggins. You destroyed the jiggins. You weren't supposed to do that. Mission failed. What beam rifle are we even using? We're not using the crazy magnum. We're just using a generically lame beam rifle. That's kind of weak sauce. That was the one thing I really liked about the Unicorns. It had that really nice rifle. That came out of nowhere. Along with a shield that had Psycho Frame bits that the ESSF just happened to have lying around for some reason. They never explained that. Like, I like that it was constantly getting upgraded, don't get me wrong, but it didn't make sense. Like, the point where it gets the Gatlings attached to the shields, okay, that makes sense. Because that's, that's, you know, acquired weaponry they slapped onto it. But, you know, the shield came out of nowhere. Benadryl didn't have it from the start. He just got on the uh, Londo Bell Force's uh, ship and it's like, Oh, hey, we got a shield that matches your machine perfectly, along with its transformation -y gimmick. Oh, R2, that's the button I need to... Okay, so we are actually moving in three dimensions. Ah, uh, I gotta be locked on with them, I guess. Okay, so RR. -R. Quick dash, okay. Yeah, this is kind of feeling a little bit like, um... Gundam vs. Zeta, a little bit? I'm, I'm kind of digging that. Seeing as that was basically just Gacha Force with Gundam. And, you know, I loves me my gacha force. I'm gonna fire... Ooh, supplies! Am I supposed to pick them up, or am I supposed to... Okay, how do I supply? I do like the slashing and half physics. It should be noted this is a From Software game, too. I was actually pretty surprised about that. The only thing I really knew about this game going in, other than, you know, it's it's kind of unicorn, was the fact that someone, and I don't know who, off the top of my head, I apologize, said this was one of the best games they played a couple years back when I did my game of the year list for it. It is the best blowing gyms up simulator ever. Even though Jagans are really just an offshoot of the gyms as opposed to proper gyms. Okay, am I supposed to... Ooh! Uh oh. See, this is a problem. I don't have any more uh, gun fuel. But I do have Vulcan, so we're good. Okay, so that's. Oh, can I. 
Can I just stop focusing on that for a sec? I want to tweak the camera just a scooch. Oh, unlock. There we go. Okay. Just want to show this off. I do appreciate that the shield actually expands. That's a nice little touch. It's a nice animation. As much as I don't like the unicorn, I gotta say it's looking pretty nice in this game. Okay, so L and that. L and that. L and that. Okay, so L can be used to combine with other things. Noted. In this case, fire the Vulcan when our not beam magnum is out of ammo. Also, now I get to do all the beamy saber stuff, which is all the best stuff. Just don't know what the whole supply thing is about, but again, we're blowing up Jagans. So, holy crap, that was cool. Oh, okay, so there's like a shield ram function. Okay. Okay, so you can actually just quick stop yourself too. There's no like jet faster ability though. Bonk! <laughs> oh, I like that. Plus, I get to use the extension shield, which is kind of nice. Oh, what was that flip? I'm liking the acrobatics of this. That's pretty cool, actually. I've got to admit, there's there's some good acrobatics in here. Restream looks like it's a bit choppy. I'm not sure what I can do about that, though. Oh, I do like that shield bonking. How long is this tutorial going to go on for? I want to pilot a Jagan, damn it. I will say, as much as I don't care for the unicorn, it's kind of impressing me in this game, which is nice, but again, I just want to pilot a damn Jagan. Or the Ifrit Schneid, I guess, but that's just because the Ifrit Custom is not available. R2 in stab? What's the R2 in stab button? Let's find out. I have to do R2 and then stab? Oh! Vertical slash! Yes! I'm kind of digging that. Okay, so... It's R1 to ascend. Let's give that another go, shall we? Okay, so I got R1. And R2 slash. I do like that vertical slice, that's kind of nice. Okay, so. Left, up, plus triangle. I think was that. Alright, I think we finished the tutorial. Or we whiffed it. One of those two things happened. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's like a pursuit dash slash. Okay. Okay, I'm picking up what this game is laying down. And that's used to knock them off balance. I do quite like the range of melee attacks this thing has. That's kind of nice. It's so weird seeing a rifle on this thing that isn't the beam magnum. Okay, so what is up and down on this thing? Okay, so it's swapping your left and right magnum, or, or left and right saber or whatever. Okay, I can deal with that. What else can I do to blow up Jagans? L2! Play with the expansion shield. Aha! Ah, they're not toothless anymore. Cool. I do like the animation of the expanding shield, that's kind of nice. Ah, you've disabled all my weapons, haven't you? I mean, I can sit here and defend myself against the Jagan to no end, that's not a problem, but I'd really like to cut it down if I can. There we go. That feels better. Okay, so... Ah, uh, it's just movement. 
All right. Figuring out tutorials when you don't read the language. It's an interesting practice. I usually just do whatever and hope it works out. They're backing off. Ours camera control. Already got that. That's weird that you're introducing it this late into the game, but sure. R3 is, I assume, reset. Yes. Okay. That's just classic right there. Oh, something just happened. A thing's happening. I don't know what thing, but a thing. Uh, someone knows bananas is around. And possibly piloting this thing. Alright, we completed the mission. We got some points. Nice. Alright. Can I... Tune... Mobile suit. Because I would like a specific suit that isn't the unicorn if I can. Alright. So these are... Hmm. All right, this looks like the uh, the what is it? I'm feeling that to be the Delta, I think. Oh, we got the Kajatria. That's kind of cool. Okay, so that's the Delta. Yeah, that is the. Um, I, I can't think of what that is. That's that's the thing Riddy flew at the start. That's uh, based on the Rigazi, I think. Rizel, that's what it is. Okay. Now it looks like two different versions of the Unicorn, I think. Okay. Can I... I'm guessing I don't have... Custom cast mode. See, this is what I'm interested in. This lets you pilot anything you want in any level. That would be nice. I think Unicorn is just... Do what you can as relative to the story. Oh, plus, we can select BGM. But I don't think they've got the awesome uh, Kajatria theme mobile suit. So, we're just going to use the default music, I think. I'm going to have to listen to mobile suit when this is over, though. That is... Again, for as much as I will dump on Unicorn for a lot of things. It had a fantastic soundtrack. Okay, so let's try and see what we've learned. And put it to good use. Okay, so we gotta find a target, clearly. But we're expositing first, which is boring to me because I can't understand what you're saying. I reselected the tutorial, didn't I? I'm a dumbass. That's what we're looking for, chapter two. Alright, let's go. Ah. I'm seeing the Kajatria. The biggest, bulkiest piece of plot armor ever. I'm never gonna not be bitter about that. Are we tutorializing how to use bits now or something? I think we might be tutorializing how to pilot the Kajatria. Can I? Ooh! We've got weapons. Well, obviously we're going to use funnels. That's like the one thing this thing had. Okay, that was kind of cruel. And that's why people like funnels so much. Ooh, binder cannon. I like that. Okay, so we got a machine cannon. That's basically useless. Oh, that's kind of mean, though. I do like that. Okay, so L. Yeah, I think they're just trying to tutorialize, like, further weapon sets and stuff, which is fine, I guess. But, I mean, we've already sat through a tutorial. Just give me an actual mission. I admit they got the laser effects from the funnels just right, though. I just watched Unicorn recently. Oh, they're still out there doing stuff, too. It's not just a one-and-done, we're coming back sort of thing. I'm just gonna let them deal with that. They're just 
tutorial won't let me until I do that. Can I call the funnels back? Ah, yes I can. However, it still registers empty, which is unfortunate. So we can't just spam funnels. We, we can't take the Merida approach to how to actually pilot this stupid thing. Which is fine. Again, I just wish I was piloting the Stark Jagan right now. Okay, so L up. Okay, so L plus forward on the left stick. Uh-huh, I'm doing that. Are you just asking me to shoot them a whole bunch? Because I can do that. Also, I'm pretty sure this is not accurate to the right size. Like, I'm pretty sure the Kshatri was a lot bigger than that. Ooh, I do like that... That quick dodge is rather nice. Okay, so... Okay, so we're just gonna quick jump out of the way. That's something worth noting on this thing, is it doesn't effectively have, like, a shield of any kind. Outside of its own binders, and the bizarre plot armor it has. Okay, so we've got an eye field, that's good. That's gonna help us against this crap. L1 and L2. Ah, so that's basically deploying a shield. Oh, that's cool. I, I do like how these suits are moving. They've, they've definitely got the movement right. Okay, so we're running out of armor. Okay, so we need to interact with this. And then we duct tape the armor to ourselves, I guess? Okay, so you have to lock on to supply stuff to take advantage of it. Okay, I, I got that. I kind of like the idea of just duct taping random bits of broken robot to your slightly less broken robot. That's kind of nice. I, I don't think I've seen that kind of mechanic in this game before. Or in any sort of uh, unicorn game. Okay, so those missions are done. That's a DLC mission. Which I do not have, and we seem to be stalling, because it's probably looking for DLC that's not there. It's worth knowing that this game did come with a DLC thing, but it was already used. And unfortunately, I think we may have softlocked the game. Which is not ideal, certainly. But I mean, such is trying to figure out how to play a Japanese game when you have no real reference for how to do that. Poop. I mean, I can do this, I guess. I'll just quit out and restart. Not ideal. But we'll, we'll give it another go. I actually tried looking up the DLC. I'm, I'm not even sure they even sell it anymore. I had to try and navigate the Japanese PSN to try and activate my Delta Gundam DLC, which was already used. Kind of bitter about that, but again... You know, what can you do? Nothing else, we get to look at the Tales of Symphonia backgrounds. Still the best piece of wallpaper the PS3 ever got. I will stand by that. Alright, let's try this again. Preferably without uh, selecting something that soft locks the game. All right, so let's load. All right, did the tutorial bits, which the way this is structured, at least the way the mission select thing is structured is a little confusing. Like I get it, but <gasps> we unlocked a Jagan. I don't care about any of those. I just want the freaking Jagan. And I want its, like, super high-powered version. But if I have to buy a regular Jagan to get there, so be it. I think I have to buy weapons for it now. 
Okay, so that's an energy weapon. That's an energy weapon. That does a lot more, though, so we're going to buy that. Actually, we can buy one of each, so we might as well. We can buy warships. That's kind of neat. No emblems, though. Characters. Generic Mick Pilotington. No thanks. Uh, let's tune our new Jagan, shall we? Okay. Oh, we can tweak its actual stats. Oh, this game is starting to be real cool. Okay. I don't want that, though. Can I swap out its weapons? Uh, I don't think so. I think its weapons are actually preset, but you have to buy them. If I'm reading this right. So there's not a lot I really want to do with that, but we'll go custom cast. Okay. Sure. Skip. Ah, I need to buy a pilot. Okay, so we actually have to go through all that stuff. Also, we got to listen to a little bit of Mobile Suit, which is, of course, as established, the best song. Okay, so who do we have? We have Benager! I don't want to play as Bananas. Eh, uh, Riddy. No. Yeah, I'll play as Marita, sure. Actually, I, I think that's uh, available pots that already exist, but for custom cast, we actually have to buy another one, so. Fine. I'll buy generic pilot guy. Screw generic pilot guy. Let's go to custom cast mode. Alright. So we've got a mobile suit. Got our Jagan. And we have no emblem. But that's okay. I don't think we actually need one of these. Skip. Hold on. BGM. Ah. Fine, we can't select our BGM just yet. Start. Now, this did seem to heavily imply we need four people, so... This might be a problem. <laughs> we might be heavily outgunned. But, you know, it's worth seeing what we can do. And who knows, if we do well enough, they might promote us to a better Jagan than the generic one. Still not... Like, that's... Like, again, I think I've said this before, but, you know... I really liked Gundam Unicorn suits. I just hated the main two. <laughs> like, all the side suits were just fantastic. Okay, so shield up. So there's some supply points if we need some armor, which is good, because we might. We're kind of rushing headlong into this, which is not ideal. Oh. Okay, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is a meat grinder. <laughs> I may have wanted to actually get a couple more teammates. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, let's take out that Girazulu. Oh. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Okay, mental note, when uh, something indicates that you can have multiple teammates, maybe get multiple teammates. Supply point. Let's get some armor duct taped to me. Oh, I hope this actually gives me a decent amount of armor or we might be in trouble. Also, this thing cannot move to save its life. Not very agile. This is why we need to tune our machine, I guess. Yep, nope, this is how we get better. Okay, I'm seeing an extra supply point. That's worth knowing. Alright. Now that we've thinned out their numbers a little bit, it's a lot more manageable. Unfortunately, we have a minute till the end of the mission, and I don't know exactly what our entire goal is other than just kill stuff. Okay, let's get ourselves over to that healing point. I don't have to destroy everything, but I do have to at least take out a couple more guys, and we've got about 30 seconds to do it. What I would consider an ideal scenario, but it's the one we found ourselves in. 
What the hell gun was that? If I just keep spamming sword, I might be able to pull this off. Sword seems to be our best move. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, I think we just ran out of time. Do like the complex clashes. That's kind of a cool feature. Okay, so that didn't work so well. Let's see if we can get ourselves some teammates, because that didn't work out fantastically for us. But we did get some points out of that, at least, which we can, in turn, use to buy more stuff. Do appreciate that. Okay, so let's, let's go back to our laboratory and buy some stuff. Uh, we'll buy... Since... We can have a team of four. We'll buy four Jagans. One, two, three, in addition to the one I have. Then we'll buy more characters. I'm gonna be the different guy, because why not? Just so that you can identify. Custom cast mode, let's try this again. Okay, so next, I'm gonna load up all these generic guys. Ah, we can only have three. Okay. So I was reading the warship thing. Alright, well that's fine. Now we've at least got a few more guns out there. We might actually be able to do something. Let's give it a go. The sad thing is I think we got pretty close. Like, we, we weren't gonna, like, do super well on the mission, but we were almost just about to finish. Like, to an adequate degree. If I'm reading that uh, little bar of mission completiness. I gotta admit, flying in a Jagan squadron, I'm feeling really cool right now, and also wildly expendable. <laughs> okay. Whoa, okay, let's get our shield up. Because we need that. Gotta admit, I'm, I'm liking the flow of gameplay so far. And while you're busy with my buddy, uh, I'm gonna take you out. It's a lot nicer when you don't have like six guys coming at you all at once. That's a big plus. Oh. I'm just gonna keep smacking you with my sword till I shoot you in the face, doot to doot. Oh yeah, we are doing a lot better now. I have to worry half as much when I've got teammates. I guess I'm not properly equipped to be the lone badass on the battlefield just yet. We gotta wait till we're a Stark Jagan pilot for that. Yeah, we're actually already really close to getting to the line of mission achievement. And we still have a mission, a mission and a half. We have a minute and a half left. We got this. We'll get an Echoize Jagan or something. This game is fun. I am liking this so far. Something's raining on from above us, and I don't like that so much. But you know, I've played a lot worse Gundam games. 
I played a lot worse Gundam games on the PS3. I played that uh, Side Stories compilation that wasn't really a Side Stories compilation. The game just made me sad. It's a good time killer, but that was about all it did. Oh, yeah, the movement in this game. If nothing else, the movement in this game is just fantastic. It's got, like, the intensity of uh, actual mobile suit combat down. I'm liking this. I don't like how much of a time waster that is. If there's any way to, like, really get through those struggles, I'm not sure what they are. I mean, I can sit here and just button mash and hope that that causes something to happen, but I'm not sure it does. So I think we did well, but we didn't get, like, super well to get, like, the S rank thing. I think. Yeah, so, if we'd filled up the bar entirely, we would get an S rank, but because we didn't, we got the A rank mission. Interesting. Anyway, we've been going for about half an hour, and I think we've got at least a vague idea of what this game is. I'm liking this. I think for a first game going back into PS3, that's uh, that's good. And when you're first getting into a console, or you're even getting reintroduced to a console, it's important to start off on the right foot, because that basically sets the stage for everything else to come. If I restart with, like, say, White Knight Chronicles, everything my PS3 does after that would just be utter crap, because so was White Knight Chronicles. We started with something pretty good, so I'm, I'm quite hopeful as to what else my PS3 is capable of. And I'm hoping that you'll join me on that adventure as we move forward. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know we go live, because we stream every night, usually Animal Crossing, but sometimes some other stuff like this. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is play some pretty damn good PS3. And some fun imports. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.